possibly to save the Senate. To save the Senate? Yes. Well, every senator has to run their own campaign. And you see what's happening to those who say that they don't support him. They're not doing very well in their polls, if you haven't noticed. But we hope the Senate stays Republican. We hope the House stays Republican because we know that part of why Americans want Donald Trump to be president. So many, so many people who have nominated him is because they actually they don't want to buy the government. They want things to get done. And uh, Donald Trump tonight, his debate performance will benefit him. It doesn't benefit just the Senate candidates. It benefits him. But I, it's funny you say that because I did hear from a number of um, candidates and sitting office holders tonight how wonderfully Donald Trump did. He did a great job for himself. He took the case right to Hillary Clinton, made her own her record as Secretary of State, made her own the Obama um, Clinton uh, disaster across the globe. They didn't just happen. She owns the disaster in Syria. She owns the Russia reset, that goofy walking across the stage with the gadget. She owns Libya. We had the Benghazi um, survivors in the audience tonight, and we had the angel moms. She supports sanctuary cities. He doesn't. She supports open borders. He doesn't. I thought he really showed tonight that when you've been in government for decades, and you've been running for president, let's face it, for eight years since she failed the first time, you, there's so much to be held to account for. And if folks aren't going to do it, we are. And he did that tonight. Implicit in these conversations I had, and it may have been implicit in the conversations you were having, or at least the assessments you were getting, is that there's not a great deal of confidence Trump can win, but there's a, at least some anxiety that there could be a down ballot problem if he doesn't, not only doesn't win, but loses badly. What is your assessment of his state of the race? You admitted earlier today it's been kind of a tough spot, kind of a rough patch. Where are things standing now, and what's the next week and a half look like for this campaign? Well, he won the debate. I thought it was an incredible performance. He clearly won the debate, and the polls will tighten as a result of that, particularly if a lot of the journalists who privately emailed me and texted me that he did a great job and that she seemed off message actually put it on the air or in print. That would be very helpful. Um, you know, I thought what Donald Trump did today is he sounded like Donald Trump in, on June 16, 2015, where he came down and he basically is, I'm a job creator. Uh, we need we need to seal the borders and we need to close the borders. We need a wall. We need to fi figure out who's here. It's not fair to the American worker. These trade deals have been a disaster. I would renegotiate them, bring in manufacturing jobs back here. He took her on on her e incredibly extreme views on abortion, where she says she's for a woman's right to choose. She calls it health care. What she is is for abortion anyone, anytime, anywhere. And he called her on it that she basically ripped the baby out of the womb at the ninth month. She didn't deny that. She just said sometimes there's health and life for the mother consideration. That's not who America is. Every pro-choicer I know is not for ninth-month abortion, sex-selective abortion, taxpayer-funded abortion, fetal pain abortion, where nonpartisan doctors and scientists say the fetus can feel pain. And you're ass assessing that Hillary Clinton is for all those things, or you're alleging that? She, she certainly didn't say that she's not. And uh, she has never really been for reasonable restrictions. We're a long, long way from her husband saying abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. And we are really a long, long way from her husband's Democratic Party, where he was able to run successfully as a moderate and a centrist major. That Democratic Party doesn't exist anymore. And as you know, he's the first Republican nominee to be very blunt and say, if I get the nominees on the Supreme Court I want, Roe Ro vs. Wade will be overturned. He said that very, it would be very... up to the Supreme Court and it would go back to the states. And uh, I, I love the whole Supreme Court discussion. I thought it really showed America what a difference there would be. And to my never Trumper friends, tune into the Supreme Court portion of that discussion because we do not want to recast the United States Supreme Court in the likeness of Hillary Clinton. So this last question about, about, about accepting the election, you wanted to address it. I, I, I asked you other questions, but let you, I want you to address that to me directly. When he says, I'm going to leave you in suspense, is he not, as some have suggested, even Jeff Flake and the Senate Republican from Arizona, not for him. that it is in process undermining respect for Peaceful yeah, transition of everything that he says. No, and that's the election fair. process itself. That's I'm just asking fair. you. Al, that's Gore, what other... Al Gore did not accept the results of the election, and he said he would. He actually conceded to George W. Bush on election night 2000 and then called to retract his concession. And you know what happened next. The rest is history. Five or six weeks until the Supreme Court decided who would win. We learned about hanging chads and certified ballots. Um, so, you know, absent widespread fraud and irregularities, then, you know, we'll see. What he's saying is we have to see what happens. But... You know, he loves this country so much, he decided to give up an awful lot that typical politicians like Hillary Clinton don't give up. It's funny, she's been running for offices all the time and somehow made a quarter of a billion dollars. He's given up all this this business, these transactions to run for president. Well, would it have been United difficult States. for him to say, okay, I, I will really accept it? Sorry. Would it would have been difficult no, for him to say, I will I Trump campaign manager Kellyanne Conway there with our Major Garrett just a short time ago here in the spin 